hello viewers i welcome you back to my channel in this video today i'll be showing you how to cut and sew a cow neck top i'll be showing you how to make a mint depth not too high and not too low and how you can get a drapey neck if you are new to my channel kindly subscribe like and share my videos thank you so let's get started so the first thing you want to do now is to we want to do is to draft a dartless bo uh, basic bodies. So this is our dartless uh, basic bodies. So the next thing we want to do is to come to the central front, and then you mark your nipple to nipple measurement, which is four. My own is four inches, so I'm just marking four inches from here. So that is one. So once you've marked your nipple to nipple measurements like this, we now want to draw the slash line. So we are going to have three slash lines. And then this one, we are, we are also going to slash this center front to the bust point. So now I want I will show you how to, to find where to slash. So the first thing you want to do is to come to your neckline and place your tape measure on the neckline you measure to the bust line and then you find the middle point so the middle point i have here is 3.6 which is here and then once you've marked that point you come to your shoulder slope you also find the middle point so the middle point here is two inches then you connect this point to this point so i'll be using a straight ruler to connect that that's the first slash line and then the second slash line will be from this point of your shoulder down to your bust point as the at the center front so i'll be using a curve ruler to draw that line so this is the second slash line so the third slash line will now be in between these lines so you find the middle point of these two lines at the shoulder and then you also find the middle point of it at this side so I have 3.6 here, so that will be around 1.8 1 1 that will be around here then you connect the two points together so and that is the third slash line so this is going to be the fourth slash line so we are going to be having four slash lines so I'm going to cut it out now then i will just cut away the neckline so we are not going to need it again i will cut from this first line so this is what we have for the front then i'm just going to slash the lines so we will slash the line two and the line three and the line four. So you stop at the bust point like this. So we, we, we are going to spread it out on another pattern paper. So once you've slashed the lines the next thing is to cut on the fabric but I'm, i will show you how to cut the facing together with it on this pattern paper before i cut on the fabric so like that and then we want to spread out the lines so at this line you fold you fold the paper like this in order for you to be able to open this slash line so you fold it like that and then you make sure this is open for at least one inch okay. 
then you spread it depends on the folds that you want so you spread out this one like this and then you're going to trace it out like that so i'll quickly trace it out So I will be using this part for the facing. So you fold it. So you can use up to four inches. So I'll just measure what I have here. So I have 3.5 inches, but you can use up to four inches. Then you fold it like this. So this is how it will look like at the back and then I'll just cut it out. So this is what it will look like and this is the facing. So I'll just make um, a quick adjustment at the facing. So you do the same thing. So once you have something like this, then from this line, at the facing you mark one and a half inch so you you mark one and a half inch like this from this line on the facing you have you mark one and a half inch so once you've marked that one and a half inch then you draw a curve line just to shape this part out so i'll just use this Then I'll shape it out. So you shape it out like that. And this is what it will look like. So this is what we are going to be cutting out on the fabric. And with this, you don't need to cut out a separate facing for it. So let's quickly draft the back. To draft the back, we're going to be drafting out the dartless back bodies. So this is the upper chest line. So I now want to create the armhole curve for the back. So just draw the line, the curve. You don't need to come in like we did for the front. So this is all you need for the back. So you now come to the neckline. You go down by one and a half inch, and that is the standard. So you go down by one and a half inch. So this is one point five inches then at the shoulder slope you find the middle point so i have two inches you remember the the front we find the middle point and then we connected the middle point of it with another point to form the first slash line so all you need to do for the back find the middle point here and then go down by 1.5 inch then you connect it together. Like this. So that is all you need to do. And the next thing is to place your measurement to create the side seam. So you can use your basic back uh, bodies or you can use this front since the back is not going to have any seam allowance. So you can just place it on it like this so this is the center back and this is the center front so you place the two on each other like this so you can see the hand hole then you trace out your measurement as simple as that Then I will cut it out. So this is the back. And then the facing that I will be cutting out for the back will be 
from here the whole part the whole upper part will be the facing for the back so now i'll be cutting on the fabric so now i want to cut on the fabric and you're going to need a stretchy um fabric in order to achieve the cow neck so you can see i'm using a jesse material and then you need to fold the fabric in bias form so this is the the fabric i'll be using and then i will fold it like this in a triangular shape then so this is the front you will just place it on it like this then cut it and make sure you had m allowance to it So this point, you need to notch this point a little bit like that. So you pin it together, pin it at both sides. Once you saw it, you can see how drapey it is. So this is how it will look like. Then I will cut the back. So to cut out the back, you fold your fabric in a normal way. You fold it into two and not in a bias form. So you only fold the front in bias form in order to achieve that cow neck. So you fold your fabric into two and then you cut out so this is the back and i'm not adding extra extra seam allowance to the side seam because the fabric is stretchy so if you are using a stretchy fabric you don't need to add excess allowance to the side seam and i would suggest you use a stretchy fabric in order to get this uh, cow the greatest uh, neckline so this is the back and then i will cut out the facing for the back so this is the back and this is the facing for the back so i'm just going to take it out and then I'll show you how to sew it. So you look for the right side of the fabric. This is for the back. Then you place the facing, the right side of the facing, you place it on it like this. So we're going to sew it like this. So this is the back. I've sewn the facing to it. And you just make sure you notch So you notch it round and then you turn it like this this and then the next thing is to place the right side of the front on the back so like this like this then i will use the facing for the back to turn the shoulder so once i've done with that then i will join it at the side seam i will join it at the side seam so i've joined it at the shoulder and i've joined it at the side seam so i will turn it to the right side so this is how it look like and then the next thing now is to fix the sleeve to it so that is how to make a cow neck don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up then i will see you again in my next video Bye.